Being behind the wheel of a powerful sports car is great, but it doesn't really compare to the thrill you get from riding a motorcycle. There is a great sense of freedom about it, but it's certainly not for everyone, and rare still are the people who can actually afford the amazing bikes we are about to present today. We'll tell you about the top 10 most expensive bikes in the world. Number 10. Ducati Testa Strada NCR Maccia Nera Concept $250,000 Motorcycles are priced for their technical performance, designs, frameworks, and outlook. Another way is to manufacture only a certain number of them to make them limited edition. Ducati Machia Nera may not compete with the other big bikes in this list in terms of pure speed, notwithstanding that Machia Nera or Block Spot humorously suggested you could create a charred pavement behind while driving it. But titanium and carbon fiber materials to render it impressively lightweight at 297 pounds, artistic contribution by visionary designer Aldo Dirty, and only a number of them made available convince most aficionados the price is justified to ensure the model makes it to their collection. Number 9. Ducati Desmo Sedecki D16RR NCR M16 $232,500 NCR starts with $72,500 Desmo Siddiqui D16RR and reworks it to make it lighter and more powerful. The result? A $232,500 road missile NCR Malona 16. Where does the money go? carbon fiber everywhere on the M16, check, including load-bearing parts such as the frame, swing arm, and wheels. The fuel tank, fairing, tail, and fenders are carbon too. Mechanical parts are either titanium right down to the bolt or avionic grade aluminum. A stock 989cc V4 Ducati motor sends around 175 horsepower to the back wheel but NCR has tuned the M16 to send 200 plus horsepower to the tarmac. Current generation MotoGP suspension helps get the power down and the M16 also uses race style electronics with traction control, data recording and user selectable maps. Without gas, M16 is claimed to weigh at 319 pounds, 145 kilograms, lighter than the regulation 330 pound minimum of a four cylinder MotoGP bike. Number 8 Ecos FETI XX Titanium Series $300,000. Back in 2007, Many thought a $300,000 price tag for a big bike was insane, no matter if it sported the mostest in every detail that mattered. How times have changed, and in 10 years, $300,000 easily lost its number one spot, instead going good only for an eighth place in the top 10 most expensive big bikes in the world. The FE Tai 20 is powered by a 2409cc billet aluminum engine transmitting 228 PS of power to the rear wheel. Carbon fiber has been used abundantly on the bike to keep the weight low. The saddle has been handcrafted by posh Italian leather Virtuoso Berluti. Its grade 9 titanium exhaust pipes have a ceramic media shot peened finish on them. Those who managed to get their hands on the FE Tie 20 no doubt belong to a tightly exclusive lot, as only 13 units of them were ever made. Number 7. Dodge Tomahawk V10 Superbike $550,000 If you think the Dodge Tomahawk V10 Superbike suspiciously looks like a four-wheel Dodge squeezed on both sides, you won't be alone. This Tomahawk V10 Superbike is a strange beast indeed, and not just because it uses a V10 four-stroke Dodge Viper engine that could easily power up any chassis with more than two wheels attached to it to give you the feeling of being dragged by a fleet of 500 supercharged ponies looking forward to storm the Bastille. 
Now talk about the soul of two-wheel steeds. As introduced in 2003, the one-of-a-kind Tomahawk was operational and road-ready, but not fully road-tested. At the minimum, the Tomahawk is capable of reaching 60 miles per hour, 96.5 kilometers per hour, in about 2.5 seconds, with a theoretical top speed of 400 miles per hour. In practice, it's hard to imagine anyone willing to prove it. Evil Knievel probably, but he's long retired at the time of the Tomahawk's release, and now he's dead. Would you, however? Number 6. Harley-Davidson Cosmic Starship $1.5 million What used to occupy first place in many top 10 lists of most expensive big bikes is now only for a sixth position. However, it claims to have been sold at $3.5 million and is now up for sale at $12 million. If that happens, it should recapture the crown it once had, or not, since we don't imagine the rest of the entries here would remain with static prices days ahead too. Harley-Davidson appears to think so, and in their Cosmic Starship, they partnered with the famed rebel cosmic existentialist artist Jack Armstrong to apply yellow and red paint over a Harley V rod and originally sold it at a Fiat $1 million after much fanfare broadcast all over the world. Art and machine went out together and price with that combo consideration. Your next best choice is shell out another $16,000 and buy a V rod that came without that art painted on it. Which brings us to another reality, that artwork is worth $984,000. But when you consider that some of the Armstrong's works goes for $3 million, there really is no reason to balk about the added price. Number 5. BMS Nemesis $3 million The first thing you would notice about the BMS Nemesis is the yellow glitter and absence of side stand, making it look like it's lying flat on its underbelly like a marooned whale. Would it even run, you ask yourself? In fact, it would. Fully functional, it incorporates an air ride system that along with the single-sided swing arm rear suspension can lift the motorcycle 10 inches or lower it right onto the ground. This renders a side stand unnecessary as Nemesis softly lands on its framed rails when it's time to park. As for the yellow glitter, that's the 24 karat gold for you. This easily explains the $3 million price tag, and everyone sure would understand if you wouldn't want to let it out of your house from the day of purchase. Number 4. Hildebrand and Wolfmuller $3.5 million History is expensive, and at $3.5 million, your purchase would send you back 124 years ago to 1894 when this first production motorcycle appeared on the scene. Heinrich and Wilhelm Hildebrand were steam engine engineers before they teamed up with Alois Wolf Muller to produce their internal combustion motor rad in Munich in 1894. This momentous event started sending the flesh and blood steeds out of fashion, reinventing themselves as emblem of the refined gentry while the special breed of men simply moved on and transferred their affections to the two-wheeled metallic petrol guzzling steeds that took over the roads. Number 3. Ecos ES1 Spirit 3.6 million When a bike manufacturer requires even a professional driver to first take a two-week training before trying to ride one of its models, you just know something is up with this bike. And why not? Indeed! This is not two-wheel machine as traditionally defined. First, there is no chassis framework to speak of. Swing arm and rear suspension attached to the gearbox and front suspension to the engine. Much touted 265 pound spec of a weight comes from eliminating the extra pounds associated with transmitting front wheel forces up a slender fork through a steering head, then back down to the rest of the machine. The front suspensions consist of twin A-arms projecting forward, their apexes defining a steering axis and carrying an upright from which projects the front wheel spindle. The lower A-arm is, in effect, a single-sided swing arm. 
To avoid the muddy steering feel of earlier articulated front ends, the handlebars are on the upward projected steering axis. Their motion so defined that resulting feel will be like that of a familiar direct steering telescopic fork. An integrated bespoke transverse inline four engine, driver sitting in a position that allows the knees to be close to the body for greater ergonomics and control, that unique front and back carbon fiber suspension, and handlebars mounted on the front fork for superior front tire control, all enable the ES1 Spirit to perform like a truly F1 car as its two British and American engineers envisioned. Number 2, 1949 E90 AJS Porcupine, $7 million. A bike manufacturer with a rich history and winning racetrack heritage, marred by several financial turbulence early on, AJS could only manage to produce four Porcupine units in 1949. As it turned out, one of these under the very able hands of Les Graham won the 1949 World Championship an open frame aluminum alloy 500cc DOHC twin engine with horizontal cylinders and heads give the Porcupine a low center of gravity. It uses what's called jam pot shocks and telehydraulic race forks. The design and manufacturing decisions made by AJS first through the original owners and then through the succeeding ones read like a virtual and veritable source of what to do ideas for any aspiring bike professional. Number 1 Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter $11 million Steampunk triumphs with the Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter. There, that's out first thing. Now to details. Whoever saw it coming that Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter would later claim pole position at any top 10 list of big bikes is probably a sheer of the highest order, especially when one considers how it began the market at a humble $110,000. And mind you, Neiman Marcus is a name you would rightly connect with department store rather than a super bike. The unique clockwork design, however, seems to have taken care of all that. The bike's eye-catching chassis, carved with a single piece of metal, proved to be an extreme hit with enthusiasts. When reviewers first saw the bike, they were simply knocked over by its evolutionary style. Neiman rightly pounced on the immediate trance-like reaction and came up with the line, it's an evolution of the machine, at once taken back down to its core elements while being reinvented and re-engineered for optimal performance. It's our street legal sci-fi dream come true in the form of the limited edition fighter motorcycle. How limited? As it stands, only 45 of the fighter is ever released in the market. Do let us know in the comment, you bike lover, which one of them you would love to have. Please subscribe to The Luxury World. Thanks for watching.